together around me while I sing this lonesome song. It was down in Alabama that I took the road was wrong. It's down in Alabama one dark and stormy night. It was down in Alabama that I took a poor man's life. And I always kind of say, you know, hey, it's not like we just woke up one day and decided to go commit fraud. Imagine the fun we'll have. Everything was legitimate. For the first 10 years, we did make some accounting changes, estimates of bad debts and things like that, which wasn't real good accounting, but it wasn't fraudulent. We first began um, in the area of revenue recognition. In healthcare, what you bill the patient, for example, if a patient's bill for a procedure is $1,000, you have a standard price list in your computer, and uh, you initially book that revenue as $1,000. But then depending on a piece, Medicare, an HMO, uh, charity, whatever, uh, you have to make adjustments, and it's called contractual adjustments to that number to get to a net revenue number. For example, many times the $1,000 charge, uh, Medicare may only pay 500 so you have to net that out. Well, that's where the fraud really began. There was a group of people in the accounting department that basically managed the, the debits and credits of the fraud um, so that the lower level people wouldn't be making the journal entries. We had over 2,000 locations at this time. Um, the entries themselves were in the, the millions of dollars and you still had to make journal entries small enough to try to avoid detection by the auditors. What we finally wound up doing was putting on an Excel spreadsheet basically the areas in which the fraud was going to occur each quarter, you know, like we're going to debit X million in the inventory or property plan equipment or whatever area of the balance sheet. We would identify those at a high level, say this is how much money needs to go into that, and then with the Excel interface between that and our accounting system, it would basically make the journal entries for us. Now get this, I mean during the height of the fraud, it took about 126,000 journal entries a quarter of fraudulent entries for going through this Excel to PeopleSoft explosion to move all these fraudulent numbers out to 2,000 some locations. <music>